Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here, and today we are going to be doing a January book haul. I did not intend on doing another book haul so soon after Christmas, but I somehow managed to accumulate a load of books, and I thought I would just mention them to you because I'm really excited about them, and yeah, can't wait to read them. So I thought I would do another book haul. Um, there probably won't be another one for quite some time after this, but you know what? That's fine. So I'm just going to go through them in a wrap in the order that they're stacked here. They're not on any particular order. But yeah, so the first one I got, I actually, um, did I buy this myself? I believe I bought this myself. I think I bought this because it was only like £2 and I needed to make up an order that I was buying. Um, and so I got When the Lights Go Out by Mary Kubica. This was actually part of my January um, TBR, but I never got round to it. Um, and I've not heard great things since I bought this. So I've heard from Nicole from A Beautiful Chaos of Books. She said I need to film my reaction to the ending, which it's not a massive book. So like it's, how big is it? 300 pages. So I'm guessing that the ending is not bad. Then I watched a video that she mentioned this in about how she really didn't like it. So that's great. Um, all I read is the first little bit of the synopsis which just says Jessie Sloan is getting her life back on track after caring for her sick mother but she stopped short when she discovers that according to official records Jessie Sloan died 17 years ago what so yes I will obviously read this and let you know at some point um but yeah that's a an interesting interesting premise isn't it the next book I got I can't read I realized for ages because this is two authors um amalgamating their series but it's like the 16th book in one series and like the 20th in the other so I have to read them all first um this one is Cleaning the Gold by Karen Slaughter and Lee Child this I believe is part of the Will Trent series of Karen Slaughter and it's also part of the Jack Reacher series by Jack by Jack Reacher by um Lee Child it's tiny it's like a really really small one it says it's a short read from two of the world's biggest thriller writers so yeah I'm interested um but like I said I can't read this um until I read pretty much the whole Jack Reacher series and the whole Will Trent series so I haven't read any of them pretty much yet so this is going to be on my shelf for some time but I'm glad it is because you know I've got it for when I need it. <laughs> Next one um, I got from the lovely Victoria from what Victoria read. She wrote me a little note for saying, thank you for being such a massive support and brilliant friend. I adore you. Happy reading. That was lovely. Um, it is um, What's a Girl Got to Do by Holly Bourne, which ironically, when she sent this to me, I just finished the second book in the series. Uh, what's the second one called? How Hard Can Love Be? Um, I read that, literally finished it half an hour and before and then this parcel showed up and I was literally so excited because I was like, I can just continue. I can't obviously yet because I'm from my TBR, but this is definitely going to be one I get to soon. This is the third and final book in the Spinster Trilogy or Spinster Clubs Trilogy um, and it follows three girls who um, have set up like a little feminist club between them. Um, but yeah, in each book follows one of the girls. So the first one talks about Evie who has OCD um, and it talks about her. The second one is about, what was her name? Amber. Yes. The second one talks about Amber and she goes to America and um, has to deal with the fact that her mum left and um, because she's an alcoholic. And then this one follows Lottie and I don't know anything else about it. Don't want to. I really want to keep this one but I'm really excited. I love Lottie and the other two books so I'm excited to see what her story is going to be about. Next up is a book. So I had two different parcels in January that I was sent um, but they didn't have notes in. I don't know who they were from. Each one had two books in I believe. Um, yeah, and so if you sent me a parcel, please let me know because I still don't know. I wrote it on Twitter and nobody said, so I actually still don't know who got me these. But the first one I got was Blubber by Judy Bloom. This is so exciting. I love Judy Bloom as a kid. This has been on my, uh, had been on my wish list for a little while. Um, and I love this cover of it as well. This says, uh, when Pudgy Linda is given the cruel name of Blubber by her classmates, Jill laughs along with everyone else. It's easier that way, right? It's not until Jill becomes a victim of bullying herself that she realises how much it hurts and how hard it can be to stand up for yourself. Um, yeah, I am so excited to reread this. Like I said, I read it as a kid and it was really, really important to me. Being a bigger person in general, um, but specifically when I was younger, this obviously is like really apt to me and really stuck with me as a kid so I'm really excited to get back to this and read it again. 
Then um, I had a Waterstones voucher from my aunt and uncle for, for Christmas and we went to Water, Waterstones and then AJ said to me, pick five books, use your voucher towards it and then I'll buy the rest because he's like an amazing fiance and I love him so much. Um, so I did. <laughs> we were in there for a good hour and a half, like me just trying to decide which five books I wanted. The first one of those five was Let Me Lie by Claire McIntosh. I love Claire McIntosh. I've read um, I See You and I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh and I gave them both five stars. Loved both of them. Um, this is another one. This is her newest one, I believe. Um, I don't actually know anything about it. One year ago, Caroline Johnson chose to end her life brutally. A shocking suicide planned to match that of her husband just months be before. Their daughter Anna has struggled to come to terms with their loss ever since. Now with a young baby of her own, Anna misses her mother more than ever and starts to question her parents' deaths. But by digging up their past, she'll put her future in danger. Sometimes it's safer to let things lie. Sounds really interesting. I love Claire McIntosh's writing. It's always really twisty and yeah psychological thrillers are my favourite so looking forward to picking this one up. Then the second book from the five I picked was The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This is a sci-fi book that I wouldn't necessarily have picked up and I don't know anything about but Leanne from Literary Diversions um she loves this series and so does her wife lovely wife Helen um so I really need to read this because I love Leanne and I love Helen and I think that I'm going to enjoy this so yes we'll see but I'm excited. Another book that I was sent by the lovely Victoria from what Victoria read, she has spoiled me, um, is The Illumination of Ursula Flight by Anne-Marie Crowhurst. Funnily enough I added, oh Crowhurst, not sure how you say that, I added this to my um, Amazon wish list because um, because Victoria put it in her favourite books of the year and in fact I think I added pretty much every book she mentioned because I love her the books that she reads, she generally reads great ones. I don't know anything about this. This is a 17th century book, um, I think it's like magical realism? Uh, no idea, actually no idea at all. Um, Victoria said I adored this book and I really hope you enjoy it, much love and a big hug. So yeah, not sure what this book is about um but Victoria liked it I love the cover of it she bought it for me so I'm gonna read it then the third book from the five that AJ bought me I got Nosfora 2 by Joe Hill this is a book by um Joe Hill which I have not heard anything about I don't know what it's about um this happens to be a lot but I've heard it. I think it's a, a tv series it's meant to be really scary um anything about it <laughs> I'll be honest um but um I've really wanted to read Joe Hill for a long time Joe Hill is Stephen's Stephen King's son um and I've I really want to read the book that Stephen King wrote with his other son and I really want to read Joe Hill in general I've heard good things I've heard lots about is it the fireman he wrote I've heard really good things about that so yeah generally I just want to read this it's also quite a big book but you know you can't be Stephen King's son and write small books right so it's nearly 700 pages but yeah I really want to read this um I'm excited for it then another book that I was sent and I don't know who sent it to me. Um, it is Midnight in Chernobyl by Adam Higginbotham. It says the untold story of the world's greatest nuclear disaster. So this is a non-fiction book obviously about Chernobyl which is something I'm interested in. Um, it talk it's about the nuclear disaster obviously in Chernobyl and it talks it's got hundreds of hours of interviews, letters, documents, memoirs, archives um, and he's written this sort of definitive account of what happened. I don't really know too much about what actually happened at that point so I'm interested in that and I really want to watch the um tv series chernobyl as well i've heard good things about that so yeah looking forward to this thank you again to whoever sent this to me because i'm really excited about it i then the fourth book that i got from aj's um pile that he got me was another non-fiction i'm so excited about this this is the murders at white house farm jeremy bamber and the killing of his family by caroline lee now you may remember that last year was it last year or the year before i read um i can't remember what it was called but it was about it was by caroline lee and it was about um maura maura myra what's her name myra hindley yeah, who um, committed the um, Moore's murders with Ian 
Brady. Um, and I really enjoyed her take on that. I think she did a really good job on that book and I really enjoyed reading it. So this is obviously about the Jeremy Bamber White House murders. Again, there's a TV series that's just been made about this, which again, I want to watch. Um, I don't know. I, I've heard, I've seen a documentary, I think, about this um, case before, but I never really went into any detail with it. And I've seen a lot of, I think there's some stuff coming up recently about it. Like I say, it's, it now says now a major TV series. So yeah I'm interested and I really want to read some more and obviously I'll go into some more detail once I've read it. I then bought myself a book on my wish list for myself um, because um, no, it was on my Amazon TBR and it was on my Goodreads TBR and it's been on there for ages and I thought you know I'm gonna read it. This is it's, an, it's a library copy from America so like I have to like show it to you like that. It's called For Today I Am A Boy by Kim Fu. So this is a book about a trans boy. It's, so it says a fiercely assured debut novel about four second generation Chinese sisters one of whom happens to be a boy. Um, and yeah it's about a trans um, character. It's about um, Chinese identity in general so I'm just yeah I'm really looking forward to it um and it's not one I've heard anyone really talk about so yeah I'm looking forward to this one um and yeah it's a bit more diverse as well I'm trying to read a bit more diversely so this could be a good one another one that I was sent without knowing who sent it was um it's not okay to feel blue and other lies inspirational people open up about their mental health curated by Scarlett Curtis this is the second um curated book that Scarlett H Curtis has done I believe the other one was it's not okay to wear pink or feminists don't wear pink and other lies um yeah um which obviously is about feminism this has like a load of different people who've written in it so it has people like Davina McCall um Emma Thompson uh Hannah Witten who's a youtuber um it's got Johnny Benjamin um Lena Dunham Matt Haig all sorts I can't even there's so many people on here um who've written like short I don't know if you can see like short bits in here there's lots of different bits I'm really excited about this one I think this is going to be a great one for the mental health -a -thon. so yeah I'm really looking forward to it it's quite a chunky book but I feel like because it's quite it'll go quite quickly and I really just enjoy the end pages so again whoever sent this to me thank you and in the same package as that came this one this is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor which is the sequel to Strange the Dreamer which I really enjoyed I know that that some people didn't like this and some people did um this is the second one like I said so this is the um last part of the duology um, this um, the series in general follows a boy a man named Laszlo Strange who is a librarian who is investigating this sort of secret city and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to picking up the sequel again I love this cover thank you again to whoever sent me this one because I'm excited then the next one is another one that I was sent without knowing it was with the other one that I have this is only ever yours by Louise O'Neill which it says mean girls meets the handmaid's tale which sounds completely up my street this um follows it says eves are designed not born the school trains them to be pretty the school trains them to be good the school trains them to always be willing all their lives the eves have been waiting now they are ready for the outside world companion concubine or chastity only the best will be chosen and only the men decide so i saw Lu uh i didn't see louise louise o'neill wrote it i saw nicole talk about this recently in books like the oldest books on her shelves so i feel like this could be a really interesting one Nicole let me know if you want to buddy read this because I mean I do that um yeah I'm really interested in picking this up um I've heard really weird things I've read one Louise O'Neill before I think I read Asking for it which I really enjoyed so I'm interested to see what I think about this one as well and then I have two books left which I was gifted by the lovely Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction who sent me these books um and I'm really excited by them um she sent me <laughs> I'm very excited. She sent me Gemina and Obsidio, both by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. These are books two and three in the Illuminae files, um, which, as you know, I read Illuminate last year and it was one of my favourite books of the year. It was in my top best books of the year video. Um, so yeah, now I have books two and three. So I'm massive. And I love these. These are like multimedia space science fiction books. I believe that these two are about different characters than the ones in the first book. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited by these and yeah, can't wait to continue the series so as I said a massive thank you to Ashley but there you are guys those are the books that I purchased or received in January a massive thank you to everybody who sent me books thank you so much for all of your love and support um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know down below what your favorite book that you got in January was whether it was gifted whether you borrowed it from the library however you received it and I will see you in my next video bye guys